welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane. Today I'm going to show you guys the new ROM that I'm running on my Galaxy Nexus. This is Protostone by developer DHO. Uh, he is of the Droid Hive and he's kind of picked up where Droid Theory left off. You know, some of you guys, and we talked about this on the last ROM review, some of you guys know that Droid Theory, um, some of you guys know him from Bionic and from the Razer and from other Motorola phones. Also, he's uh, put together Axiom and complex and theory ROMs of this nature. He's had a freak accident. He's recovering from that. And so while he recovers, DHO and some other guys from Droid Hive have kind of continued on the legacy with these theory ROMs. So the latest uh, Protostone build includes Lanero Tweaks. Now, Lanero Tweaks, for those of you that don't know, Lanero is a nonprofit group that has been developing a new way to build these ROMs to be more efficient. So they've taken Android and they've studied it and focused on exactly what processes Android runs the most and they've figured out a way to make them run more efficiently. So this should give you a 100% boost in performance, or at least that's what they're saying. And I agree that in day-to-day -day use of the ROM, I am seeing a pretty good performance boost. Maybe it's a sugar pill that I've taken or something, and maybe I just I seem to think that, but if you go to a quadrant score, I'm getting about 2,900 on my quadrant scores. Uh, so that's pretty good for the Galaxy Nexus running at 1,200 megahertz uh, or 1.2 gigahertz. So if you go into this ROM, this is built on an AOKP base. And it includes all of the Droid Theory mods and tweaks. It also includes uh, some other extras like it Beats Audio is here. There's a 3G uncap. So your 3G speeds, you should notice... Uh, that they're not going to be capped or throttled. So some of you guys, when you get to a certain limit, uh, 5 gigabytes is normally when it happens. You'll notice that your YouTube slows down quite a bit. Uh, maybe page loads slow down a little bit. And uh, that 3G uncap is said to resolve that. Of course, Verizon does not have the technology to throttle 4G speeds. So that is not happening. They've said that they don't throttle 3G speeds except for the top 1%. So for some of you guys that watch this channel, you are the top 1%. I believe that I'm probably the top 1% of uh, 3G usage. So that actually helps me quite a bit. Let's see, we can go into the settings and see some of the other things that it includes. Uh, first, I will mention that it comes with titanium backup and also a file manager, which is great. And if we do go into, oh, it also comes with a triage theme. So you see that the navigation buttons here, they are changed somewhat. Uh, they're, they're not the normal ones. That's part of the triage theme that it comes with. And you know, we'll just go ahead and jump into settings. Most of you guys by now are familiar with the AOKP ROM control. And that is the main customization, uh, the main way to customize this ROM is through uh, ROM control. So you have your general UI tweaks. You can do things like allow 180 rotation. So when you flip your phone over, it follows you all the way to upside down. A lot of you guys are familiar with this stuff, so I'll kind of run through it quickly. Uh, CRT off animation, enable volume options. You can do your customer carrier, custom carrier label and rotation delay. I always set it at the slowest. I mean, the fastest. And custom carry, you see that I have mine as Droid Modder X. And we'll go back to system settings. And back to ROM control. Navigation bar. Uh, this is what's really cool about the AOKP ROM control is that you can have, um, you can change the color of your navigation. You can also change the color of the glow. So whenever you touch it, you change the glow, or you can change the navigation button quantity. So, uh, like it comes with three, I like to change that to five, and then you can actually add your own custom applications to uh, the navigation bar, including like Twitter or YouTube or whatever you wanted there. You can have that there. You can change your nav button transparency here, and also the height and width of the nav bar, which is really cool. Lock screen options, you have up to eight lock screen items, and Let's see, where's that at? You can enable Fast Torch, and this is where you can do your custom apps. So you can add custom apps to the lock screen. Let's see, you should have an option to, yeah, lock screen style, up to eight targets. So if we go to eight targets, and I come down here, and I well, let's just say I'll add one, the camera, and we'll add a phone. We'll just add some things so you can see what I'm talking about. Now if we turn it off, back on, So 
It's not going to the lock screen for some reason. I think that's part of this ROM is it only goes to the lock screen if the phone's been turned off for a little while, which is pretty neat because most of the time, uh, you know, you turn your phone right back on and then you have to unlock it. Here, we'll go back to settings and ROM control, lock screen options, wait to lock screen, so we'll turn that off. Now it should pop right up. Yeah, so now we're locked and we have those extra options plus some space for more options if we wanted. You see that our battery percentage is there as well. And we can also turn on weather widgets for that. Uh, if you just hit the lock screen weather, now you'll have weather widgets there. I'm going to go ahead and turn the wait to lock screen back on. We'll go back and there's some power menu options. Power menu is when you press and hold the power button, you get your power menu there. So we can add like the torch toggle, we can show screenshot and add the navigation bar toggle as well. Weather, that's to do with the weather widget. Power saver, there's several options here. If you want to enable power saver, it should help with the battery life. LED options, uh, you can set custom colors for whenever you get notifications that come in. Uh, there's some general status bar tweaks here. You can change the notification icon transparency and the font size notification drawer layout and notification count you can change your toggles so when you drop down these are our toggles here I have Wi-Fi GPS LTE Bluetooth airplane and torch and you can change the toggle order and you can enable which toggles you want so there's several more to choose from there and you can choose the toggle layout if you wanted to go with a more simple layout you can do that as well uh, of course, you can change your clock style. You can have it center, which is what I like. You can change the color. Uh, you can, if you wanted to have no clock at all, you can do that. Battery, there's several different icon styles to choose from here as well. And you can do the battery bar like from my UI. And the coolest part about this ROM is that you can overclock this like crazy. So you can go all the way to 1,000. 650 megahertz or 1650 mega gigahertz uh, 1.65 gigahertz I mean so you can go ahead and overclock that and that's gonna make your phone blazing fast so like uh, this is a dual core processor and now it's clocked at 1.65 gigahertz um, the Galaxy S3 that's coming out soon it is a dual core processor that's clocked at 1.5 gigahertz so now your Galaxy Nexus is faster than the Galaxy S3 that comes out at the end of the month which is really really cool they also have scaling governors here uh, you can change the way that your phone processes your CPU speed I like to keep that at interactive X and you have some startup tweaks build up prop edits and things of this nature and let's see if we want to change any of this it's going to ask for root permissions we're not going to do that now and of course you do have the theme changer so all you have to do for the theme changer is just head to the play store and download any cm9 theme and it will be compatible with this rom of course right now i have the aokp theme which is what comes with it uh, which is pretty cool so that is most of the protostome rom of course to flash this, you'll need to download the ROM from the link in the description. Go ahead and grab that, and you want to reboot your phone into recovery. So right now I'm running the TWRP Recovery 2.1.2. You can do this from Clockwork Mod Recovery as well, just kind of follow the same instructions. So one thing I noticed about the Protostone ROM is I did see an increase in speed. And I, I really do think that the Lanero tweaks, I think that they really do what they say they do. I, I think that you are going to see an increase in speed. I think that you're going to see even more of an increase in speed once the developers really hone in on everything that those tweaks can do. I know that the guys from Gummy ROM, the guys from AOKP, they're all working hard on getting those Lanero tweaks um, just really worked out. And so what you want to do here is wipe. You'll go to Factory Reset, Swipe to Wipe, Cache, Swipe to Wipe, and then Dalvik Cache, Swipe to Wipe. And then you'll go back, Install. You're looking for B3-Protostome.zip. You'll go ahead and select that and swipe to confirm the flash. When that's all finished, you will reboot the phone and reboot the system. And so this is the custom boot animation that comes with it. It's the hybrid boot animation. 
and I like it a whole lot. It's pretty cool. Guys, you can check me out at DroidModerX.com for all the latest in Android and tech news. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX. If you are watching this channel for the first time and you want to see more uh, more tweaks, hacks, and mods for your Android device. I will be co covering the Samsung Galaxy S3 as soon as it comes out. I'll show you guys how to root that phone, how to unlock the bootloader, how to put custom ROMs on there. Uh, so if you want to see those types of videos and for all the other phones that are coming out in the future and also tablets, I'll cover those as well. Be sure to click on the subscribe button right here. If you like this particular video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and I do appreciate if you comment below. Tell me what you think about this ROM or whatever ROM that you're running. What ROMs do you want to see me cover in the future? Let me know in the comments. Guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.